First you guys met my brother-in-law Gaurav and you loved him. Then we met my wife Manisha and you guys loved her too. And now today you're going to meet my father-in-law Prem Singh Malik, Malik Saab or to me Papa. And we're going to do that by going behind the scenes of his political rally here today in Hasi and Haryana. This is basically my second home after Delhi. I spent a ton of time here in Haryana. And don't worry, he hasn't asked me to make this video. This video isn't paid. This video isn't sponsored. You guys know I don't do sponsored videos and I don't take money from brands because I don't believe in influencing you and taking advantage of my audience like that. We're going to this political rally simply because I believe in Papa and this has become part of my life now. But before we go to the rally and I show you all the fun stuff and take you behind the scenes, let me give you three reasons why I support Malik Saab. First reason, he's a leader. He does what he thinks is right. He stands behind his decisions and he's not afraid of anybody. And I saw this when he supported me and Manisha's wedding. Firstly, she's marrying outside of her caste, she's marrying outside of her race and outside of her religion too. And we had a zero rupee wedding. All these things are very, very untraditional, especially here in Haryana. But he stood up for us. And there's another video where you'll see him fighting with somebody on Facebook who was criticizing our wedding. That's the kind of guy he is. Secondly, he's a self-made man. He knows what success is and he knows how to get it. He realized that to get his family out of poverty, that he had to go and get an education. So he left the village, he went to Delhi, he got a degree in political science, and then he started a business. And it didn't happen overnight. It took him a lot of hard work. And I remember Manisha telling me she could tell her dad's success because first they had a bicycle, then they had a scooty, and then they had a car, like a wagon and it just kept going up from there. That's how she could tell her dad was getting more and more successful. And if you guys want to hear more about his success story, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on it. We'll go and interview him. Now thirdly, he doesn't hoard his wealth. He's not greedy. He believes in giving back to the community and I've seen this a lot as well. And you know why? It's because when he had hard times, when he was in poverty, nobody helped him. So he knows what hardships are like. He knows how people live here and he just wants to help people. And now that he's in a position to help people, he can. So I've seen he spends a lot of his wealth on supporting sports, education and women. I'll just give you one quick example. So back in his village, he pays all the widows a pension so they can live you know, a bit more easily after their husband passes away because husbands here in Haryana usually bring home the bacon and the wives are usually housewives so how can they support themselves if their husband passes, right? So that's the kind of guy he is. I know him well, I've lived with him and yeah, these are three reasons why I support him. Now let's go check out the rally and let's go have some crazy fun, nah? This is a motorcycle rally, just like how we have overseas, right? So all these motorcyclists, we're all meeting for a purpose, for a reason. And the reason is to remember the martyrs and freedom fighters of India. That's why it's here at Shaheed Bhagat Singh Stadium. Shaheed means martyrs, Bhagat Singh was an Indian freedom fighter, a very, very popular Indian freedom fighter. So that's why we're starting here. It's all about remembering the martyrs and freedom fighters of India today. All right, we got a ton of people in here now, a few hundred people. We've got the national cadets up there. We've got the, the male police officers over here. We've got the female police officers over there. Hey, everybody's here, it's, it's awesome. Papa's gonna give a speech soon. Then the rally's gonna start. You're gonna hear all these motorbikes firing up and us cruising around Hasi. कृपा व्यवस्था बनाए रखे और बहुत ही शादी पूर्वक तरीके से अनुशादी तरीके से चलना है कोई शोर शराबा कोई होटिंग कोई सीटी ना बजाए ये पूरा श्रेय प्रेम सिंह मलिक के लिए जाता है क्योंकि उन्होंने ये आयोजन इतना अच्छे से लिया और ये इनिशिएटिव उठाया कि पूरे भगत सिंह को याद किया जाए और पूरी दुनिया में दिखाया जाए कि यूथ 
हंसी का युद्ध बहुत कुछ करके दिखाएगा और ये जुनून पैदा करने के लिए युवाओं के लिए स्टेडियम की मांग जो कि हमने प्रेम सिंह मलिक के लिए रखी है वो उनको पूरा उतारेंगे और हमारी पूरे हंसी की आवाज़ है वो हंसी के एक भव्य नेता और एम एल के तौर पर हम देखना चाहेंगे We're going to go on about a 10 kilometer ride around Hasi. Make a big noise. And then we're going to end up at a destination for lunch and hopefully there'll be chole and a marti on the menu list scene, huh? All right, everybody's here now. The family's here. Ab kon hai? Sunita Malik. Prem Prem Singh Malik ka patni hai na? Patni. Acha. Ab kon hai? Aur ye boa hai. Boa kuch bolo. <laughs> Ram Ram. Ram Ram. Now this is the car we're going to be taking. We're not riding bikes. We're on this car. We're going to lead the procession around the place, around Hathi actually. This is my first time on a motorcade. I'm not used to being the center of attention on a motorcade. Have you ever done this before? Ridden on a motorcade like this? But look behind us. We've got the tractor behind us following us and it's playing uncle's song, it's playing papa's song. Did you know your dad has his own song? Uh-huh, yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't tell me your dad's got a song. Uh, Is it Dil Jeet Osanj Kone? No. Hari Jeet Singh. Hari Jeet Singh. Dil Jeet only sings in Punjabi. He's not singing in Hari. Oh. Shalom, motorcade's starting. And you gotta hold on like this. We've got a speaker on this thing too. <laughs> the driver's got a microphone. So we're basically letting everybody know that Prem Malik Singh is running in the elections. And yeah, we're just going around and showing his face around the village here, around Hasi. And we've got this massive motorcade that leads so far that way. So far this way as well. There's a ton of people here, must be like a thousand or so or more. Hundreds of motorbikes. We're in the middle of the Hasi market right now. It's awesome. There's people everywhere, even up on the roof. And so what's happening is we're stopping to wave at people and say hello to people as we travel through the Hasi main market right now. Wow, this is such an experience, my God. It's raining right now. We're getting soaked. What to do? What to do? It's the monsoon, so totally soaked. It's raining right now. We're just walking into the community center, and that is going to be free food for everybody. I'm trying it, huh? Chal. I'm your big fan. Oh, you're yeah. Man. I've been watching your videos since. Awesome. Awesome, yes, bro. yeah. Thank you. Indian bridge was one of my favorite. Indian Pakistan border kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe. Jai Haryana, no? Jai Haryana, Jai Bharat, Jai There's three levels of food here. And you've got jalebi, you've got chole, puri, and a bunch of other dishes for everybody to eat after that long, like, five kilometer ride. And it was incredible. You're driving around and you're waving to literally thousands of people. And people are like waving back and smiling and yeah, it's such a sweet experience to see all that positivity, all those smiles and all these people that are supporting Malik Sub. It's awesome. It's, it's just incredible. Okay, so like I was saying before I got interrupted by a bunch of people. So we took the car around. We stopped at a bunch of martyr sites. Uncle paid tribute to them. And one of them, I mean, Ambedkar is not a martyr, but he was the guy who wrote the Constitution of India and they've got a very important statue of him here on Ambed Chok here in, in Hasi and we stopped for speeches, we stopped to dance and yeah, it's a crazy experience. Alright, the party's over now. We're going home. Hey, what's up, bro? And you can hear my voice. Two hours in the motorcade with the sun coming down. Really, really tough. But it was an amazing experience because we got to wave at people, we got to greet people. We met so many people during that motorcade and yeah, just the smiles we got from all the people in Haryana was just incredible. Everybody was waving back, everybody was greeting Malik Sab. And just to see those smiles was amazing. Haryana people are so, so jolly, 
so happy and such good people. And what I was trying to say before the battery cut off is I'm gonna have a break now. We're gonna go find Papa and have a chat with him. Why do you want to go to politics? Look, in the past 15 years, I've been in the society. Now, the people who are in the society, the people who are in the society, have a voice कि आप राजनीति में आइए और राजनीति में आने के बाद आप कुछ अच्छा कर पाएंगे समाज के कल्याण के लिए समाज की भलाई के लिए एक आदमी अपनी जेब से बहुत ज़्यादा खर्च नहीं कर सकता तो समाज की कल्याण के लिए समाज में जो भलाई है समाज का जो उत्थान है उसके लिए सामाजिक ढांचे को मजबूत करने के लिए सरकारी संसाधनों की ज़रूरत होती है और सरकारी संसाधन पॉलिटिक्स के जरिए ही आ सकते हैं और हाँसी के लिए आपको क्या चाहिए हाँसी एक बहुत ही पिछड़ा हुआ कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी है इसमें जो बेसिक सुविधाएं हैं वो बिल्कुल चरमराई हुई हैं फॉर एग्जांपल मैं आपको बता दूं सफाई व्यवस्था जल भराव की प्रॉब्लम है शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में कोई कॉलेज कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी यहाँ नहीं है और कोई सरकारी अस्पताल की सुविधाएँ भी यहाँ नहीं हैं और ला एंड ऑर्डर की जो प्रॉब्लम है वो भी हाँसी में है तो कुछ खेल स्टेडियम वगैरह भी नहीं है बच्चों के लिए तो इन चीज़ों को देखते हुए मेरा ये विजन है कि ये सारी सुविधाएं हाँसी शहर को हाँसी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी को मिलें ठीक है धन्यवाद जी थैंक यू द सन इज़ गोइंग डाउन ओवर हाँसी नाउ एंड सो अंकल हैज़ ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू सर्व द इंडियन पीपल ही स्टार्ट इन द नेशनल cadet and he couldn't go into the army he actually wanted to join the army but he couldn't because he knew he had to go and make some money to support this big joint family but now he's financially stable and he's ready to serve the people of Hasi and then hopefully the people of India and everybody is just sitting down here chilling now after a very very long day everybody is so tired I wouldn't had a nap though I'm feeling I'm feeling amazing right now but everybody else is super super tired it's not as easy as it looks Jay Hind My English is not good. Ah, no problem. What's your name? Ramesh Kumar. And you are from Hansi, right? Yes, yes. And you saw us in the news today. Yes, before Haan. five minutes. And I Just five here. minutes ago. Yes, yes. And you knew where Prem Singh Malik lives. And you came and found us. <laughs> yes, yes. So yes. good to meet you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yes. Good to meet you, bro. That guy was really sweet. And that was a really nice way to... In the day, he saw me on the news and he knew how I was, I was in town, so he came to find me. And that's why I don't usually say where I am in smaller places like Hasi or when I'm at the village, because it's very easy to find me. And it's not that I don't want my subscribers to find me. It's because there's some people out there which are not very happy with me. I get threats and yeah, a certain segment of people in India are not happy with me. So I kind of obfuscate where I am just so they can't. I mean, but yeah, I'm always happy to meet my subscribers and yeah, that was, yeah, like I said, such a nice way to, to end the day.